Sailor Moon Serena and I'm Sailor Earth Ernest and today I'm gonna and today we're gonna give our thoughts on TakeOver or also known as WWE NXT TakeOver in your house or TakeOver now there are gonna be some folks out now we're now TakeOver kickoff did not have any fights before the show so won't be talking about those fights or matches because there wasn't a match or fight on the show. Anyway, so the first thing we got to talk about, the first fight on TakeOver was Mia Ying, Sanchi Blackheart, and uh, Keegan Knox fighting Canvas Murray, Mazzola Gonzalez, Gonzalez, and Koa Kai. This was a good fight. I liked it. I thought all the women did very well in their fight. You know, it was a good fight. I liked it. But the fight with the match was good. You know, we're not going to be one of those ones that's going to go by hold by hold and everything, and you know, stretch out these these thoughts like other folks do, and make these real long thoughts. But it is what it is. So at the end, we follow a good fight, and uh, Mio Yang, Sanchi Blackheart, and Keegan Knox beat Canvas Murray, Akoa Kai, and Mazzola Gonzalez. The next fight we had was uh, Finn Bauer fight Damian Priest. Good fight. I liked it. I mean, I thought that. You know, Finn Bauer did very well. So did Damian Priest. They both did very well in this fight. And even though both of them are actually heels, you know, Finn Bauer seemed to have some backing. Even though Finn Bauer himself still behaves like a heel, somehow he's gotten backing in his fight with Damian Priest. So anyway, a good fight. Finn Bauer beats Damian Priest. Then we go to our next fight. Can I go on Sailor Moon? Sure. So, our next fight after that was Velveteen Dream fight Adam Cole for the WWE NXT Heavyweight Winnings and an outside fight or backyard fight or back parking or back stop or backyard fight. Stopstead fight? Yeah, I guess you could say that. Anyway, there were a lot of things going on in this fight. There were a lot of times where you thought Velatine Dream had it won. There were a lot of times you thought Adam Cole was going to keep it. And there was a lot of that back and forth going on. Even after Bobby, Fit, Bobby Fist and Roger Strong did their thing. Even after uh, Dexter Loomis did his thing. But at the end, Adam Cole beat Velveteen Dream and kept the WWE NXT heavyweight winnings. Then we went to Tomonsel. We had Tomonsel Champa fight Killian Cross, which some folks from IW might remember, might think of him too. And it was a good fight. And uh, I fought Tomonsel Champa and Killian Cross did very well to, in this fight. You know, there were a lot of good things going on. This fight, this fight was good. And at the end, Killian Cross beat Tomonsel Champa. Okay. I go back to this one, Sailor. All right. So then we had Rio Ripley fight, Io Sarai fight Charlotte Flair for the WWE NXT Women's Heavyweight Winnings. A lot of good fighting between all three women. There were a lot of times where you thought Rhea Ripley was going to win, where you thought Charlotte Flair was going to keep it. Yeah, there was a lot of that going on. And at the end, Io Sarai beat Rhea Ripley and Charlotte Flair and won the WWE NXT Women's Heavyweight winning. So, what was our fought? What was the fought? Fought NXT, uh, we pff, fought TakeOver was good. Or WWE NXT TakeOver in your house. That's a real long name. The short name for it would just be TakeOver. 
and we thought TakeOver was good. We liked it. There was no fighter match on the kickoff show leading into it, which it is what it is. I mean, all of the TakeOvers never really had that, so this one didn't have it either. Um, but it was a good fight, and we liked it. I'm Sailor Moon. I'm Sailor Earth. Hope you like this film.